Now, let's look at how to create a graph that represents a sinusoidal function using Geometry Sketchpad. Our answers need to be in degrees. So we'll click on File, New Sketch, Graph, Plot New Function. The function we said was sine x. Click OK. At this warning that comes up, it's really important that you click No. Now, this is the graph that occurs. Looks a little weird. We need to do some things to it. Click on Graph. Grid form, rectangular. You'll notice we now have another red dot that we can work with. We want to move the right side into more focus, so we're going to click the red dot in the middle at the origin, hold our left button down, and drag that over so we have more of the right side of the screen showing. Now take the second red dot, the one that's to the right of the origin. While holding down your left mouse button, drag it towards the origin. Now as you drag it, you will notice that the units of measure are getting smaller and smaller. You want to keep dragging till you can see 360. Perfect. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to change the display so that we stretch out our y-axis. So click on the red dot above the origin and stretch. We're only changing the view. We have nothing to do with changing or transforming the actual graph. Now, click on that red, reddish colored line that goes through the origin, click on the arrow and you'll see you'll get a four-sided arrow. While holding down your left mouse button, drag that. Now you will notice that it will take on the curve of the sine function. Keep dragging. If it gets a little stuck, just let go and come up again. And there we have the graph from 0 to 360 degrees. Now we want to save that, we'll be using it as we go through. Click on File, click on Save As, put it to your folder. I'm going to put mine into my math folder. Which I have to make. And I'll open it and I'll call this um, graph one. Now it's easy to make changes. Right click on the graph, make the line thick, right click on the graph, change the color, and you can use the tools over here to measure points, type text, I'm going to click on the A tool, position it, stretch it out, and I want to call this my start point. I want to click here, go to my highest point. I want to label that my maximum point. I want to come to my midpoint and I want to add a label. I want to scroll down a little bit and I want to label my bottom point. Minimum, do that one again, and lastly I want to label my endpoint. Now if I want to check the value of a particular point, Click on the circle, click on the point, click on measure, coordinate. And we notice here that that coordinate is at 89.79. Let's see if I can get a little more accurate. 
just drag to move it. And we have 90.14, close enough, 90 degrees, and 1. And there you go. Save it again. Now it's your turn.